I'll be honest with you all, I've been trying to switch to Linux for years, and every time it's been for the exact same reason. Windows sucks. And this time around, Microsoft is stopping security updates for Windows 10, and my hardware doesn't even support Windows 11. Not that I actually want it. And so I bit the bullet again and started to dual boot Windows and Linux. And this has been my experience so far. I initially started with Kubuntu, which is a flavor of Debian, the same as Ubuntu, but with a few minor things that apparently make it easy to set it up for gaming. And I ran into a few issues because Kubuntu isn't in the same version or flavor as Ubuntu. They're not always the same up to date or sometimes I'll branch off and do other weird things. So I found myself when trying to fix issues that I ran into, whether it was simple driver issues or changing the display settings or getting my external devices to work, I just ended up switching entirely to Ubuntu because I was coming across a lot more specific help for that flavor of Linux online in the forums. Now, one thing I definitely do want to say is this. If you're a gamer, whether it's through Steam, um, the Epic Games Launcher, GOG, or whatever else, Linux is near perfect for this. Everything basically just runs on Linux. And if it doesn't, it's mostly just a case of changing the Proton version you're using from a little dropdown, and then the application just works. That also means if you have dev tools through Steam, like me with Substance Painter and Designer, they basically work out of the box. For Designer, I did have to go back a few versions to get it to launch, but again, it was a pretty easy workaround, all things considered on Linux. And you might have figured out from what I've mentioned that Epic doesn't have a native Linux launcher, which I honestly wouldn't want anyway because it just wouldn't jive with my ultra-optimized and fast Linux operating system. Like, if their launcher sucks on Windows, I am terrified of what that might feel like on Linux. So, you may be asking yourself, how do I get all the free Epic games I don't play working on Linux? Well, it's the Heroic Games Launcher, which allows you to get anything you have through Amazon or, you know, Twitch, along with GOG and Epic Games working. And like I said, it's very much like Steam. If it doesn't work on the first try, you can just change the Proton package or the Wine package, and you are usually all set to go. I have not yet run into any more issues other than this. Now, all of this is great for gamers. There's also the matter for the game devs with game engines and the tools. VS Code, Rider, and Blender just work on Linux. Honestly, these are the smooth experiences I've ever had installing something. And now, the big doozy is compiling Unreal from source. Just a quick editor's note, Epic Games has actually made the Linux builds of different Unreal Engine versions available on their website. It just means you can't download it um, in the usual way through the launcher. Also, some of the versions of this engine are pretty big. Those who have poor internet or unstable connections probably aren't going to have a very good experience downloading these. It's also, in my experience at least, not a download and run sort of thing. I've been getting some errors in the terminal I've also had to try and fix. So yeah, it's definitely a situation where it isn't uh, easy said, easy done. You will also need a lot of hard drive space um, compiling the engine. And once you've done all the steps correctly, there will be a long wait time as your hardware compiles the software. So that can take up to many hours depending how strong things like your CPU are. However, without having to deal with uh, packages or graphic driver issues or weird display things that happen because I have a 2K monitor and a 4K monitor and a graphics tablet, Unreal, once it's launched into my project, is pretty productive for me. And that's just using blueprints for all my game logic. Now again, these are my initial impressions. I think I still need to do a full feature in my game, commit it to Git, push a build to Steam, before I know the real roadblocks uh, Linux might give me. But if you're watching this as a solo Unreal dev, I would be cautiously optimistic. On a side note though, as a content creator, Linux is actually terrible. 
everything I have used to make this video isn't available to, or even working on Linux. Um, Elgato and Adobe have basically refused to do any support for Linux and DaVinci Resolve only works on selective older flavors of Linux and despite my best efforts, just won't run. Also, I am sorry to the Linux community, but all of your Photoshop alternatives suck. And that's what makes it really hard to adapt my videos to this open source ecosystem. Right now, all of my videos are purely made on Windows, which I want to change. Like I actually do want to change because I love the Linux experience. I just can't get anything essential to launch to even properly make videos. And lastly, look, I want to cover some other things I've had to go through. Um, for example, drives, um, like network drives. I've been working moderately well on Linux. I'm able to use my NAS server, um, watch things on Plex. I'm able to see all the renders of my videos on the Linux side of things and access all my game assets. Perfectly fine. Linux has this weird thing where it won't mount drives automatically, um, whether it's local or on the network. I know you can resolve this, I just haven't figured out a successful way to do it yet. So look, although I know it's not entirely the distro's fault, there are still some things that are severely lacking on both supporting wine-like workarounds or really good open source alternatives. At this point, I would pay for a privately owned alternative to Photoshop if it was good enough to work on Linux. And look, like I said, I am cautiously optimistic and determined enough, thanks to Microsoft, to make the switch as painful as it will eventually be come October. What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, hit subscribe. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next video.